Hello everyone, Michelle of Michelle Mould Art again and today I'm going to be swatching out some uh, watercolours from uh, Art Philosophy they're the watercolour confections and this set is called the Essence Set um, I'll just hold the, the box up for you there you go and it says art philosophy at the top there um, this is the actual palette itself I've added in some extra colors in the middle here um, but the original ones are the ones at the top and the bottom so a set of 12 colors that come in this metal tin labeled up essence and you can see the colors on the bottom there um, so I'm going to swatch these out for you um, and then I'm going to do a little painting with those. So I'm still using my Stillman and Burn uh, Beta series um, sketchbook, which I think has got about two pages left in it. So maybe we can do a sketchbook tour another time. What I might do with these paints is put them in my new inserts from uh, Barry Herneman's Cloverleaf paint box. So in my last video I um, talked about how I'm using that now for my Michael Harding paints and I said that I was going to order some new inserts. So um, this is how the inserts come. They come in a box of their own and there's one insert and then if I open this up you could use this with its lid and its clover leaf um, flat palette you could use this as is or just another place to store your second insert so um, I will be moving these across these art philosophy um, essence set into one of these inserts um, for the cloverleaf paint box soon. <coughs> Sorry, excuse my cough, I have a bit of a cold. What I might need to use are some of these little dots so that I can keep the half pans securely in the, in the insert, in the palette. But I'll do that on, a, on another occasion. I just wanted to share that that had arrived so let's get swatching some of these gorgeous essence colours and uh, what should we use? I'm going to use my trusty Van Gogh size 8 which is not showing as usual but anyways it's Van Gogh size 8 round and I'm starting off with the colour called Adore. If any of you um, quite like the stamp that I've used, um, this was part of a set from Irrit Landgraf, um, who you can also find on um, YouTube. So let's have a look at this colour here. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a really rich, reddy brown, auburny kind of colour. There we go, that's a door. Next, we have Chant. So, let's see how Chant comes out. These are re wetting beautifully. Very creamy and surprisingly vibrant, actually. Followed by emotion. Let's get some of that on my brush. That's rather pretty. 
and then earth. When I've finished swatching, I'm going to do a little painting using not all of these colours, but um, a selection from this set, followed by Namaste. Now, that one chant is a bit more earthy than namaste namaste has got um uh, sort of an orangey tinge to it then we have ponder which is a gray looks like a a light gray There we go, that's, that's Ponder. Then we'll move on to Eternity. Oh, wow. That's a greeny turquoise. Nirvana, this is another green. Ooh, that's not too garish. I could I can use that one. And then Unite. Don't these have gorgeous names? They do also have numbers. I haven't bothered putting the numbers down. But all of their paints are have a number and a name. And the names are always really quite cute. Then we have Awake. Now that's quite a... Lovely brown. Rich brown. What's next? Creation. Creation. Oh. Okay, so this is quite a ultramarine blue kind of colour. And then Serenity, which is a green. And then I have added a few colours to this palette in the middle here. So the first of which is an art philosophy uh, watercolour confe confections, get my words out, colour. It's suede, but it's from a one of their different sets. That's almost a... Buff Titanium, which I always find is a really useful colour to have in my palette. Then we have a gold. Now will this re-wet quickly? And I'm afraid I can't remember where I got this one from. But I do like a good bit of gold. I think this might be... Could this be the Schmincke Half Pan of Gold? white gouache because just have to have some white gouache in my palette obviously that's not really going to show up and then I've got um, a paler gold which I think was I got from Etsy I think at some point I think this is a handmade 
pale gold, which is rather lovely. So the other gold is much more... Um, mm, that's more like 22 karat gold and that's more like um, 18 karat gold, maybe. Or 9 karat gold and 18 karat gold. Who knows? Anyway, there we go. So those are our colours in the Art Philosophy Watercolour Confections Essence set of paints. And I will just bring them up so that you can get a better look at those colours. All rather gorgeous. And then you might be able to see the difference between those two golds. You can see I've put a question mark next to one. I'm really not sure where I got it from. Anyway, there we go. Suede gold, white gouache, and then the pale gold. So those are the actual um, watercolours. What I'm going to do now, if I can very cleverly, twist this round. Yes. There we go. And what I'm going to do is a little painting. Um, just showing um, the use of some of these colours. So I'm going to grab a smaller... What's this one? I'm not sure if that will... Oh. There we go, Pro Art Proline Zero. Um, and I'm just going to use that. And what should we use? Perhaps we'll use this Namaste. Oh, look, there's a little bit of green left. What do we call it? Um, leftover muck on the palette, I suppose you might call it. There's obviously a bit of green there, but I just want to get the like a strand of I'm gonna do some berries and leaves and I just want to get those in. Actually I'm not sure that that's thick enough. Let's go with my, what I'm using now, Van Gogh 4. I think we might need to be a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's better. This is going to be another one of my, really sorry, but it's very quick paintings just so that we can get a little bit of an idea. Um, so let's see if we can maybe get some some leaves down. Um, what shall we use? We use a little bit of the chant with a little bit of the creation which was the blue colour. That's come out a bit dark. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. So let's just see if we can get some leaves going. I might just, whilst it's wet, do a bit of wet in wet and get those leaves developing a bit more. I went camping at the weekend. I'm not sure what I thought I was doing at my age, camping. Um, just in case you didn't know, I'm in my early 60s. You can probably tell where I get my head in the way and you can see the grey hair. But um, and add a bit more blue in there in that one. A bit of interest. 
Oh, yeah, these leaves are coming out quite nicely. Okay, maybe we'll have a second one coming off of there like that. And add a bit more of the yellow in. So once I've got a few of these leaves in, I'm going to add some berries in as well. I'm a big fan of just dropping your paint in and hoping for the best. <laughs> you could say I'm quite happy with the surprise that the watercolour gives me. shapes a little bit. the creation and a door which is the blue and the sort of ready brown colour um, variations of mixes of those so let's see how we how we go with that using some of my white gouache to add some highlights That's what I should have done. Leave a little gap. Hmm. Okay. But never mind. Hmm. Where should we go next? Perhaps we should have a few here, little gathering of berries. Make this one a nice big one. Hiding behind. And that one's looking a bit lonesome. Like so. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. We need something going on over here. And my hand does keep smudging what I've done. Maybe I'll learn eventually not to do that. Hmm. Well, something coming down there, maybe. Hmm. 
Bigger ones, smaller ones. Okay, let's just add a bit more blue again. Oh dear, I think I've just got my head in the shot again. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's go the other side here. there okay let's see if we can maybe just let that dry a little bit should I quickly get the heat gun out and um, what I want to do is just add the white and a little bit of gold to have a play Okay, I think that's not too bad. So let's get my small brush and we'll start off by just adding a little bit of light, a little bit of where the sun's catching these maybe. Don't need to be perfect. We don't need perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. There. So at least now it looks like we've got a little bit of light coming off. And then I want to add just a touch of to some of these leaves. Just on the edges there. might also do just because we can is do some little gold somethings who knows the wonderful thing is that you can just do what you like because it's art and it's not it doesn't have to be real I think we'll just make them quite pale. That just yep. that's looking good. Oh, isn't it fun to play? So I've just added some gold 
circles that aren't even attached to anything. I think I need to do something with the branch. It needs a little touch of something. If I use my original colour and add a bit more blue to it. No, that's gone too blue. A bit more chant. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit grey now. I feel like I need something Give it a little bit more dimension or something. I should add that I am just self taught and I didn't start painting until 2018, so there. It's just be so obvious. There. Blend that in a little bit more. Uh -huh. Well, while we're on the gold, should we go a bit gold mad? Should we add touch of gold where the white is or our berries there. just just a little bit like so hmm all right then now let me see if I can bring that up a bit closer for you so here we go you can see these lovely colors being used for just a few leaves and some berries and the only colours that I used were, let's just pop them, uh, where should we pop them, down the side. So I used Creation and I used Chant. I also used Adore. And I used a little bit of pale gold. So there we are. Those are hmm, the colours that I used. Next time I'm hoping to fill one of my spare inserts. Um, I might not show these colours again. I've got another set of colours that I'm going to use one of those inserts for so I will show me filling the insert and sharing with you another um, set of paints that I have but um, I think these are rather pretty so thank you for watching and um, it's always helpful if you click the like button and um, click on subscribe thank you so much for watching See you again next time. Bye-bye for now.